Hello and welcome to Texit Tutorial. Today we are going to learn about promises in JavaScript. Now, promises in JavaScript is pretty much like promises in real life. Your kid makes you a promise to clean the room by end of the day. Either by end of the day, he finishes his promise by cleaning the room or he fails. In JavaScript, uh, promises are similar. We will first look at a simple example of promise. Then we will understand why do we need promises in JavaScript. And lastly, we'll look at an example where you have dependency, where one promise uh, depends on the second promise to finish. So firstly, this is how you define a promise. You would say, let, uh, this is the name of my promise, equal to uh, new promise. This takes a callback function, and this callback function has two arguments. The first argument is resolve, and the second argument is reject. The resolve really means I'm fulfilling this promise and I'm resolving it. it means you finished what you said you have, you would finish. A reject means promise is not fulfilled uh, in given time or given constraint. I'm rejecting it. So you have two things: either resolve it or reject it. Inside here, you would f first thing you would do is because the promise is to clean the room which means you're gonna clean the room. So I'm not gonna write uh, how to clean the room in JavaScript, so I'm just gonna write a comment that uh, cleaning the room. Now when the, the cleaning of the room is finished, I wanna s set up some status, right? So here I'm just gonna equal to trip is clean. If the room is clean, I wanna resolve it. So simply I would run the function resolve which is you know through callback function <clears throat> else I am going to reject it <clears throat> the first part is to do what you supposed to do uh, the promise to do something so you're gonna do that first uh, and then the second part is to either resolve or reject when this is promised the second part is you can execute this promise <clears throat> this could be taking a little bit longer time because, uh, you have to wait for it and there is a method uh, that uh, gets called when the promise is resolved, uh, which is called then. So when this method is fired, which means the promise is resolved. So within this uh, method, uh, you can have a callback function. And because it's only executed when the, the promise is resolved, room is, and then what I can do I can receive the status back uh, from this resolve function. So here I can just say clean. Okay. Uh, so I can say from resolve, which would be this. So when it resolves, it would pass um, this argument inside the resolve. And when the, the promise is fulfilled using then, it will pass this argument, which is the same same guy here, clean. So I can just simply say from resolve this. So if I run this, I get um, the room is clean. Now, let's say if you reject it, what would happen? So for that, we can chain another argument called catch. Here, I would pass a function, and I would say from reject. Um, so here, I would have to say not clean, right? Uh, so if it's clean, then it would resolve it. If it's not clean, then it would reject it. So if it's going to be rejected, I need to say false here. Then it, in that case, it would reject it and I would get this um, not clean through this argument and I can console log it okay so the the message is the room is not clean now again here what we promise to do is happening right away we're not doing anything uh, but in order to explain the concept I wanted to keep it very clean and assuming that um, 
after doing this is clean is set that makes the promise either uh, resolve or reject uh, before we move on I'm saving this example here uh, so if you go to this this particular URL you can check it out okay uh, now look at a little bit of complex example where uh, you have to finish something before you can start something right so let's say um, if you you know you cannot uh, remove the garbage before you can actually clean the room so you have to clean the room so once you finish cleaning the room then you can remove the garbage and once you you know do both uh, then you get ice cream you know your parent would give you ice cream as a reward you cannot get the reward until you clean the room and take the garbage so there's dependency right so here in the code I have uh, three separate pr uh, promises uh, basically I have three functions the first function let the uh, clean room it actually returns a promise to clean the room and within I'm directly resolving it uh, I don't ha I don't need to wait for a uh, room to be clean uh, so I'm just resolving it right away otherwise you would uh, here you would basically clean the room and then resolve it either resolve or reject but I'm just resolving it, it means it's clean uh, same thing happening for remove the garbage and uh, winning the ice cream okay now um, I want to write this nested promise where once the cleaning is done I want to remove the garbage and once uh, garbage is removed I want to get the ice cream okay uh, so I'll first write clean the room and see how the syntax is so nice and this is why we use promises so I would first uh, clean the room uh, so when I execute this function it nothing but returns this promise okay uh, that I've defined here and when as I said before it has a then function which actually wait for promise to finished and only then it would run this function then now inside this then function I would have a, a callback function since uh, it only runs when these this promise is finished then I can start another promise which is remove the garbage so uh, all I'm going to simply do is return garbage now when I execute this this function it nothing but it returns this promise and basically this now became a becomes a promise uh, for removing the garbage so I can actually run uh, then on that promise within that I have a function uh, that waits for that promise to finish to remove the garbage once it's finished I can return uh, another function called win ice cream when that is done I can simply say I can write another function inside which basically uh, runs when everything is done all three promises have been fulfilled uh, here you would say if I run this it says finished actually uh, since for every resolve I am getting a message back into this then functions because when I finished uh, cleaning the room it sends a message with the resolve call uh, clean the room I can actually catch this message in a result and I can pass that message into the next function when I uh, same thing I would get a result here as well and I can pass it here and in the end I would get a result here as well now what I can do I can uh, whatever message that I get in the first uh, after cleaning the room message and I can append this message so what it's going to do is going to concat all the messages uh, resulting from fulfilling the each promises Oh, and actually I need to say finished plus if I run this it says finished uh, clean the room remove 
a garbage uh, one ice cream all three done and you can see it happened in that sequence uh, because of this dependency so this is how you can actually put the dependency and you can see how clean this uh, code is compared to if you were to use a, a simple callback function to do this uh, without using promises you will have one function where you you have to nest everything and if you have like a, so many callback function it becomes a nightmare so promises at least solves this problem because you can independently define these promises and then when you resolve it it's also uh, quite clean now i have saved this example uh, in this url so uh, if you want to play around with it you can load this uh, i will also provide the link in the youtube video as well now let's say if you want to do all these in parallel with you don't want to wait for one to finish and seconds to start you just want them all three promises spawn at the same time and you want um, once all of them are done you want to do something so for that I will do something like this um, I would say promise dot all and inside I will pass an array with all three promises so I would clean the room remove the garbage and win ice cream and they will all finish I would have it then and here I would have the callback function all finished when I run this it gives me the result back says all finished uh, but let's say instead of waiting for all the finish what if you just want one of them to finish any of them then uh, you want to do something uh, for that you would use instead of all you would say race you would say race the, the log would fire up and say one of them is finished let's say you have three server with the same data and you try to pull for redundancy and as soon as the first one shows up you are satisfied because you got the data right you don't want to wait for other two to finish right in that case you would use this then it comes back with one of them is finished anyway so that's all in the promises um, I promised this tutorial and I delivered it so please resolve it uh, if you like the tutorial um, please give a comment like it and subscribe it thank you